This is just a really quick video. Uh, I'm basically uh, working on a load of electronic parts for my next single, which is out next next uh, Friday, and I've got to build some parts for it. But I just um, decided to uh, put together really quickly these 3D printed parts. I built them on my Lulzbot Mini, which is a really, really good 3D printer. So this is the eye assembly for a Cosmo. Uh, basically, it's just a ping pong ball with a, another 3D part that screws straight onto uh, the miniature servos. You get these miniature servos for really cheap if you search up miniature servo on eBay or Amazon or something. You could pick them up, I think, like 10 for 12 pounds or something. But basically, you use two of these. You connect this part, which is in the STL files. This kind of holds the eyeball in. You drill a 3 millimeter hole on this side and a 3 millimeter hole on that side. So it's sort of in the center. So it's like bang in the center of it. You can see that there. And uh, th then you just put some 3 millimeter M3 bolts, just screw it into there, and they screw in nicely. And then on the top, there's this sort of flexible part. This is just a really simple 3D printed piece. It takes two minutes on the Lulzbot Mini to print. I know, it's crazy quick. And then you screw that into a one millimeter hole on the right on the top of the ping pong ball. You sharpie onto it if you want. These literally just screw into this main uh, part. This takes about two hours to 3D print, but it's pretty solid. And when you got two, you got, you got double the eyeball power. I've even included this, which is actually exactly the same as this assembly. However, it's actually a Euro rack uh, panel so you can actually put the Cosmo eyeball into your Eurorack device having the CV uh, These are mini jack holes for it The problem with the servos is you need to have a separate power supply to the synthesizer because they are very noisy And they are prone to you know making a, a mess and stuff But if you have an RC car laying around or an RC plane all you need to do is literally get the um, the electronics out of the RC car or the RC plane, use the receiver, and you can use this as a sort of wireless animatronic um, eyeball. I know this is very quick, and, and I know it's probably leaving uh, a lot of questions. However, this is a video to kind of share the uh, files so you can make one yourself. Anyway, I, ha I need to get on with this video because I've got a lot of soldering to do, but that's just a little quick one. If you have any questions, then go and check out my forum. There's a link below, and uh, there's people who have already built this off my Patreon because I shared this on my Patreon uh, a week ago or so. And if you want more projects like this, go and check out my Patreon because needless to say, it helps uh, support things like this. And you'll actually see a few other machine parts that I'm working on for the next single over there. So if you want to support a little bit, even a quid or, and uh, you know, see a few, a bit more content, then go and check it out on the Patreon. Anyway, I've been looking on the computer. Make yourself some animatronic eyes and don't be scared to try it.